is a digital twin and how is one created? Let's show you using a demo of the work we have recently completed with GE Digital Foundry Europe. First, a bit of background. This digital twin is virtual. We integrated it in an offshore wind turbine, the Aliad 156 megawatts. GE currently uses just analytics to monitor the turbines. Each alarm must be validated by an operator, and this is difficult and expensive because these turbines are offshore. Our demo focuses on a digital twin of the yaw system. It consists of seven motors. Each motor operates independently, so we have created seven twins. We have created seven virtual temperature sensors, one on each motor, in order to collect the temperature data of each individual motor. We started with Maxwell in order to do an analysis of the thermal properties of the motor. The resulting 3D physics simulation was used to detect and compute the maximum temperature on the coils. Next, we used Workbench to create the reduced order model with current as input and torque and maximum temperature as output. Here is the actual 3D simulation of the motor that was created. The ROM of the motor is brought into the system simulation platform ANSYS Twin Builder. You can also see that the input used to create the ROM and the output from the virtual sensor result in the expected lifetime of the motor. Now we are running the actual system simulation in ANSYS Twin Builder. On the left side of the screen, you see the input of the temperature on the coils, and on the right side of the screen, you see the remaining lifetime of the motor being calculated. As the simulation continues to run, you can see the temperature of the coils going up and the remaining lifetime of the motor decreasing. Now that the simulation is complete, we need to generate the digital twin. Here you can see the code that is the digital twin being generated by ANSYS Twin Builder. This code is integrated into GE Predicts for complete predictive analytics. And here are the twins of the motors that comprise the yaw system of the wind turbine. Let's take a look a bit deeper into one of the motors, motor number one. Here we can see the current, the temperature, and the remaining lifetime of the motor based on the operating conditions of the motor in real time. This is hypothetical. Let's switch to motor number four. This motor is overheating as indicated by the red area. Here the temperature of the motor is too high and we can actually take a look at what will happen to the motor if it continues to operate at this high temperature. The remaining lifetime of the motor is going to decrease significantly. Why is this important to know? Without this digital twin, the wind turbine operator has to physically send a technician to inspect the motors. Expensive. The digital twin provides all of this information remotely and in real time. The operator can now plan when to replace the motors. There is no guessing or physical inspections needed any longer. Imagine the savings that the turbine operators will realize by implementing digital twins.